Okay, guys, welcome back to game two. Um, the Hilliard Cybercats versus the Central White, uh, DuPont White. Uh, and we have a sub for the other team, and we checked it is legit. They're registered through Play Versus. Uh, and Pushwaka is now joining us. Looks like he'll uh, be going in that top, top lane, lane trying to shut down Bubble Puppy after the dominant performance. And he was plat last year, Pushwaka, and is gold right now. So this is going to be a different. Uh, this is going to shape up to be a different, different game. matchup for sure. So we'll see what happens. I think we're going to see similar bands come out. Ah, uh, the Fiora! I knew it! I knew it! Yeah. <laughs> I they, mean, we all probably they, knew it, so I can't claim too much excitement. They didn't want to shut that one down right away. And we do have a ribbon band coming which out, must which mean is going they to be targeted work, towards sure. that new player. So good On scouting them. there from the Cybercats. Yeah, you don't want a fed ribbon. No, you do not. You, you do don't not. want a fed Fiora either. So, no. you know, both teams don't see those with girls. the wise bands. All right, and then and now Ask Name Zoe. Again, a lot of these are targeted, not necessarily meta. Yep, that's um, something that he has a ton of experience on, yep. so a smart man from the red team. We'll see what's coming out next. They're waiting for the last possible second, maybe. That... Well, there's more to talk about now, right? You know, they have that new player coming mm -hmm. in. They do want to lock down the fiddle band, though. That is such a hard I champion to play around. Yep, very, very hard. Did you know that fiddlesticks, people will say that as an actual, like, shucks kind I of do. phrase? Yeah. yeah. My yeah. grandmother, she was in, on town this weekend, and she said fiddlesticks. And, and you're like, think well, of League of Legends. Know that you played League of Legends <laughs> and that you were a jungle man. Or maybe uh, you're one of those fiddle middle. So... Okay, Swain. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out again, a Swain respect ban. Um, well done. Ooh, and looking in. So... Uh, Phoenix trying to get that early. They did not ban the Caitlyn, so now Pushwaka pulling that up for Bunny Topia Master. <laughs> <laughs> Just a great name, Bunny Topia Master. It is a great a name, out. and we'll see how he pilots that Caitlyn since he now got his champ and a very safe first pick with the Ezreal. Yeah, always able to e out of trouble. Basically, is a flash built into his kit. And that'd be nice, depending upon who Pushwaka goes. He may need that for late game team fights. It's um, true. you do not want to be locked down. Very true. Uh. As an ADC ever, I find they don't like being locked no, down. No, we don't. Nope. It's, it's, I am an ADC main, and I can confirm being locked down is not happy. And there is Sedge another again. lockdown champion yep. that we saw in that last game. Lots of CC. Okay, they, they were there. able to keep her relatively in check. So no, they did. But hopefully... again, that entire game was warped by the top lane. So yeah. it does completely change the dynamic. When yeah. we did see in those skirmishes where the Fiora wasn't present, they did have some advantages they got yep. in those fights. And something we did say... Um, but it may not yeah. come through. This is that. Oh, Karma! Hey, there we go. The level, the all at level one. Um, a shout out to the Darius from last game for top lane because I think he was a relatively new league player. Yep. Um, with a new account, so he probably made it for this esports tournament and for you know to play Wanted with to play teams. with this team, help them out. And so and that's awesome. It's so good for you, man. Have to give commendation for that league is a very hard game to get used to. So yep. even just getting on the rift in this situation is is a very brave thing to do, and we, we commend him for that. And we have the mm -hmm. Warwick coming out along with the Karma. So the Karma... Did play Warwick? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. played it a good cool, cool. bit. Um, the Karma Ezreal bot lane, something that has a ton of poke. Yes. That can be very dangerous if they yeah. can whittle him down. And the Warwick, very, very good map control and fantastic gang. Ooh, yeah, six. and especially with Karma, if she can mantra speed everybody yeah, up. Exactly. That'd be really nice with the Warwick. Ultimate. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Now that is laying down the law there, saying you play a split pusher last game, That's good. I play a split pusher Because Camille's as well. kind of a law person, and so is Caitlyn. Yep. Does Sedge have anything to do with law? No, um, not that I know well, of. We'll but we don't, there. I'm not a lore master by any means. No, that would be a shout out to our former jungler from our varsity team, Cam. Oh, and it looks like we may have the commentary. Oh, and we do read we were giving a shout out to our former jungler. He texted us to let us know the commentary is working. Lore so. Master Cam, commentary Master Cam. We got okay. it down. <laughs> um, back to the van. Band. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the Nautilus, they don't want to have to deal with that I get CC that. again. Um, you know, it did have a lot of good yeah. impact in that last As game. Ez is more mobile, but, you know, and Karma is too, if she can just beat herself away. But still, I, I get that. And. Um, the poke lanes can be countered a bit by the all-in lanes, though, so I respect mm -hmm. it. Let's see what this next band coming out is. Again, waiting, getting in their mind. 
<laughs> and it is a Casio band. They're Casio being, band? Okay. yeah, they're being uh, really targeting out that yeah, middle lane. Yeah, being wary of that mid lane uh, because you know Asmoob is one of the, also the higher ranked players on mm-hmm. our team. That being said, rank is not everything. No. Nope. Um, but you do want to try to you know pick your bands and, and get people off their comfort picks. Morgana and, uh, band come Morgana, out again. Morgana, yeah, something that you definitely don't want to deal with mm. you know i have heard that morgana bindings last approximately two eternities i don't know if you've heard <laughs> the same uh no but i i like it and i mean if you get a really good morgana too especially if they can pinpoint where your ez is going to jump to it is brutal the predicts it's it almost feels different than like a hook i don't it know why it just at you comes and then, and then you're like too late and you're, and like, you're done this is Ooh, of the brand. brand oh man that is a lot of damage in that bot lane that is awkward. I mean, it could be a brand mid. We have the it's Lily true. mid. It's true. Um, it could be a brand Typically mid. We'll more have in the to support role, Yeah, but yeah. But we'll have to see. Um, I don't know if the support is used to playing the damage supports as much, um, or more utility, but we'll see. Oh, we he's might doing have it. He's doing it. Oh my god. Top lane. Oh, <laughs> if, if I can't split push against you, I will riddle your jungle and with be rooms. An and, annoying oh, team. Oh my goodness. That is going to if be... If he wasn't on our team, I'd be... Oh, he's even on though our he's team, on our team though. and I'm... So, oh, I, I married him. <laughs> All right. Oh! Yasuo wow. is left up. Okay, and so... Going for it. I do have to say our team does not have knockups, but he will have to create <laughs> his own there, and the Akali coming out as the counter yep, so it was to a brand support. the Yasuo. That'd and be scary about lane. Again, you know, with this composition that they have set up on the red side you really have to be careful about walking into that fog of war because yes. if you get cc'd by the sejuani and if brand literally just presses his r button he You're can gone. delete your entire team so yeah you really have to be careful um you know you want the team to be relatively close sometimes to get the karma mantra e off but also i mean in bot lane you know you don't want them to be close against the brand in team fights um in bot lane you ha- if you step on a caitlin trap you're dead you know, once they get to six, because and they have good setup for that with the brand stun as exactly. well. Exactly. Careful. So they, have to, I mean, as a slippery karma can help. Um, you know, mantra Q will be nice, but they have got to be careful bot lane. They have to keep vision so they don't get ganked by the sedge. Um, you know, Yasuo and Akali are are the dancey dashy around folk, and then top lane is just going to be a little weird. We yep, and now we have the three out. minute delay before we get to see if their synergy is on point. Yeah, and that's honestly, you know, um, the the most important thing here. The most important thing. Yes. Who cares who wins? Who cares if they play well? It's just about the synergy. <laughs> and it's not like, do you look good or do you not look good? It's, are you trying to coordinate if you exactly. can with your team and with your wards? Um, it's true. That being true. said, you know, if you don't want to, you know, put money into it that's fine you just play and enough you can, and you get you get you the, can have or, classic synergy too right you that's know you true. can just like we did last time Baker. Comps around how they look i've done that before you can get like entirely glowing eyes teams <laughs> exactly okay well let's let's turn it back to this we're getting a little bit off off uh and we do have to here. talk about some of the counter tools that we have for that engage we were talking about, right? Because if you look at Yasuo in this composition, even though Sejuani can hang out in that fog of war, if he just puts up his wind wall, that can deny her entire ultimate. So um, we have to yeah. see if he's able to use that well. And we can use the Ezreal cues to face check. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, this top lane matchup is something that I, I've seen Bubble Puppy pull out the Teemo for these counters before. And it's the type of thing where... If he can blind her at the right times, if he can control that lane with being annoying as Teemo can be, then it can get pretty difficult for the Teemo to deal with. Also, I mean, you think about Sed running around the jungle. If she goes on a mushroom, it'll slow her down. It'll do damage. It makes it harder to pull off some of these ganks. Well, her passive will stop her from being slowed. But Oh, Sed. Well, never mind then. It will allow her to... uh, at least be seen, right? That is one yeah. thing about team mushrooms. They are kind of like little vision little, bombs. Oh, well, now I like them better. <laughs> um, I also do want to say, give another shout out, speaking of vision bombs, to our awesome the bomb observer giving us vision True. uh caleb crawley aka again toast again if you're just tuning in i am maestro pants aka mrs sturman uh and this is my husband also uh league of legends coach along with me yep peter sturman wilson aka ari Veva. so um yeah welcome hilliard esports cybercats 
versus the central white Dupont, Dupont, central Dupont, white, as <laughs> and the play versus uh, tournament format. Yep. So you're now caught up 23 seconds and we'll be caught up um, to the players, well, at least on the rift. Caught up behind them. <laughs> yes. Um, so let's uh, also take a look at this middle lane matchup with the Akali versus the Yasuo. So um, this is the type of thing where you're going to have a little bit of a battle of mobility yep. because the Yasuo can dance around, make it very difficult for the Akali to hit those Qs and also hit the E to be able to go back in on him. So he can dance around the Shroud location. He can dance around her cooldowns. And yep. it's going to be all about how the Akali is able to counter that. Can and she use her E? Can she use her R's to dance around his mobility? Lily some good, some good plays and, you know, didn't let Ask Noob totally scare her away even when he had some good solo kills on her. Absolutely. So um, it'll be interesting to see that. That's kind of an important thing. Oh, and she does have the KDA Akali, which you is know, a nice You know, it looks skin. like maybe you have some new members. You just have the band leader in that middle lane. Oh, fast loaded. Joining, so. um, shout out to Bot Lane's going to do too. They have nice short spiky hair. It looks great. Okay. Ah, uh, we're loading in now to yep. the rift. We'll see if it's another relatively uneventful level. We did have some good vision place, but no skirmishes. Alright. And looking at the rune choices here, nothing too... And some new choices. We have the... We have a fleet footwork in the middle lane on the Yasuo. Not always teleport versus place, teleport. But... Did Fiora even... She didn't teleport too much last game. I think she was just no, in the top just, lane. Uh, she she had a couple of them, but a lot of them were just to reset so after, after she got good lots of gold. gold. So, but again... Folks, this will be a different game. Different game, different sure. matchup, different people, and they were spotted moving into yep. this jungle, so it's getting a little bit risky. Yeah, Camille up there checking things out. They just played some vision and backed yep. out. That's Spark cool. Smart play. You, know, you don't want to hang around too long after you've been spotted, but you can see the pings knowing that the vision is there from the red team. Yeah, and I mean, that's part of the game, right? Like, vision getting is one thing but then also knowing where they have vision and if you can't sweep it yet or anything like that you can still play around it now careful actual bird there checking them coming in they're gonna oh, see this okay actual that. bird you don't want this you don't want this there now they're invading um we did drop one of our wards and they look like they want this red buff yeah they are going to steal this away so now as a jungler what you need to do is play around this intelligently right mm -hmm. so you have to start on the other side of the map, and then you have a question, you know, this is happening. Are you going to risk the invade? You can see the Camille laid down a ward on their red buff, so if they go for the invade, pay close attention to the mid lane and the top lane if yep. they can roam to help the jungle. Meanwhile, our bot lane is going to get ahead on this push because they're not leashing, and so, you know, every time you get something, you you give something up or trade it, um, and that's okay. You just have to try to come out on top of that. So we'll see. That was nicely done there, hitting that in there. Yep, good um, poke good. from both Ezreal yep, and the Karma. Uh, something you always need to be cautious of if you do get the push as the bot lane when they're invading your red, they can come for that level 2 gank on you mm -hmm. because you're pushed up. And just trading a little bit, the Akali with the earlier level 2, so trying to exert the pressure. And the brand just helping shoving out the minions as well as trying to land that poke. A good W from him. Yeah, still a little bit cautiously, um, you know, for a brand, but oh, oh, nice damage in the top lane dance here. We got a potion popped. Um, for the team, oh, but Sedge. Two, yep. And Sedge, we, we did see the uh, Warwick invading on that red buff, you know what's happening. Okay, but she's showing, so it's not, again, not going, you know, maybe using her presence to stop pressure rather than trying to sneak up. And again, when we're paying attention to the mid and the top, mid and top both have priority for the blue team, so that's why the Warwick could go for that invade mm -hmm. safely. Again, more potions popped. The brand getting a little bit feistier, still playing back a bit. Yep, full mana bars for the red team bot lane, so they have just tried to uh, be a little bit cautious with their skills. Uh, trying to avoid that Q there with the Caitlyn net. We do see a small health advantage for the blue side, mm -hmm. and they're going to be pushing this way in. And again, the, the level 6 for the bot lane red side is really going to be the terrifying, you know, change in that. Um, level 6 for blue side is still, you know, nice, but it's not as, like, insane. It's not as game-changing. And man, yeah. Bubble Puppy is still bullying out this Yeah! Thing. Good job. And Bubble he did puppy. get the counter pick here. That's something important to consider. Top lane's one of those lanes where if you know you yeah. have that counter, you can play around that champion. But we have. Yasuo going in! 
poking some poke, some poke, and just saying, hey, this is my lane. And, you know, she has that shroud to be able to dance around, like we were talking about before. Sedge, wanting it, not wanting it. Again, they're just, probably being cautious after last game. They do not want and, to snowball and Really, she was just hovering just in case there was something, but she's really wanting this skull crab. And mm, with the so Warwick roaming up, she knows what's happening in his lane. Get it, get it, get it, Griffin! Totally it. unbiased. Walk up, and Sedge knows nom, 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 nom. You know, that was smart from the Sedge to back up there, and I don't think she stayed too long. I think she did on this one out. Oh, but she can't play Nerf because he is dead! He's not dead! Oh, He's, the not dead. He's not dead! He's not dead! He is dead! He's dead! First blood to both of you, nice flash, and then going there. Oh my oh, gosh, that was so close! Alright, that was really nicely done, guys. So, um. Have to break that down a little yeah. bit. So, the Camille, so close to death, but when she got her passive shield back up, it took longer than Bubble mm -hmm. Hub probably thought for the kill, and that gave the Sejuani enough time to come in and almost get that counter unanswered. It was such a close skirmish, and we see in the bottom lane now. Phoenix a little bit poked out, but they should be able to farm safely enough because Bunny Topia Master is also quite low. And Ooh, oh, ask me of laying it down. Now the shroud is not going to be enough. If he finds you in the shroud and pushes you, um, then then she's not as safe. But yep, right Akali now, just... knows. yep, she does not want to take that E back in. No, 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 he no, has no, no. a huge health advantage here and is able to do whatever he wants with this wave. And again, it's really interesting um, seeing just. Stepping back and seeing the improvement of the players, especially you know once you've been on our team for more than one year, it's really nice to kind of see their individual, um, not just mechanics, but just decision making of when to go in or not improve. And so that's you know that's a cool thing as a coach um, to get to see. Let's see, she said she's coming down there. They have good vision in the spot lane on they the red are, side. They are pushing in this wave, so it's going to be hard for them to do the thing. What gank. would be dangerous yep. is if Blue wants to push back into them. So let's yep. see what they do here. Hopefully they remember us telling them to be careful with the lack of vision. Always dangerous to push up a Oh, said, vision. yep, guys. No. No, no that was oh, nice. Oh, now, actual gosh. part still getting there, but rooting down with the mantra W, or just with the W. I don't even know. Yeah, mantra the to get down. Yeah, just the W. Karma, I actually know the abilities because I actually played her, but um, that, that was really nicely done. That could have been worse. Hopefully, they now also take this in their mind and say, okay, we have to be more careful with when we don't have vision, we can't push and up. Speaking of shifts for level 6, we do see the level 6 on this Camille. So even though mm -hmm. Bubble Puppy got that kill early, that Camille, when she hits that level 6, is much more dangerous than she used to be. Yeah, and they're both popping the potions, you know, in, in anticipation for what may happen. And we do have to take a look at that jungle. That CS lead is pretty Ooh. incredible. Yes. Groovin Peruvian, uh, you could see that when the Sejuani was doing those ganks, spending a lot of time waiting. And that does make it a lot harder to keep those numbers high. So um, now, is Warwick? What kind of jungler would you say Warwick is? Um, so he typically wants to farm a bit more until he hits level six, and then okay. he is much better at those ganks. And Neil uh, going in here, see, nice blinded by um, the light of the Teemo. Yep. So this is something that does not change for the Teemo as much when he hits level six. He just yep. gets those. Shrooms that shrooms. he can yet yeah, put around to control the lane a bit more and control the vision around the lane and the jungle. So um, the Camille definitely going to be a little bit scarier to deal with. Um, again, still in this middle lane, we see Ask Noob having the priority, having the ability to do what he wants. And we did get some more more poke down in the top. Can we get a look at those um, CS numbers again one more time? And he goes, thank you, sir. All right, so and so that's the thing too with Camille. Even though uh, you know Timo has the kill, um, she's 10 CS up. Yep, and so with that being said, you know uh, Yasuo has the lead there. And again, like we talked about the discrepancy in the uh, jungle. And that's uh, where we're seeing that overall 1400, 1300 gold lead coming from. And with Relic Shield, again, this is the thing. Uh, why don't a friend didn't? Oh yeah. No, he didn't. Hmm? He has a, the Spell Thief's Edge, so a little yeah. bit of a different support item. It can be harder to get the constant gold coming out there for yeah. that support item, so might be seeing a little bit of discrepancy there as well. As then we that can slow down as later and then set up some of those, you know, ganks with Sedge too. And some nice poke there. We do have the Sedge briefly showing, just to maybe allow our Akali to farm a little bit more safely. Oh, and in the top lane, oh. we have the dancing around there. They're blind. Luckily, team, let's see, can he make it out? We have the potion oh. pop. Oh, 
Oh, got the kill! That was a valiant but that effort. was a valiant effort. That was some really nice uh, dancing shoes yeah, there. Yeah, he, he juked me. around a lot of skill. That being said, there. Camille like didn't help herself out on the one, but did get the kill overall. Um, so it is now three to two in blue side favor. Warwick saying, "Well, if you're not gonna have these these uh, minions, I might as well." Well, what he's saying is now you can't freeze them. It's actually something very important for the jungler to help mm, out with. That yes. might be something that we even had Hubble Puppy call out. A collie going down to Asp Noob solo kill in the mid lane. They've been dancing around that fact and Asp Noob laying it down. Um, and yes, yeah, the freeze versus not. There are like entire sub. Oh, and the all coming out. Oh my oh. gosh. Phoenix is alive by just the breath of, you know, the wild here. Ah. Uh, Alright, so that'll be a, a turret plate going down to red side, but no actual death, which is important. Um, but yeah, so, so I was saying, like, laning and minions and wave control is just a whole subfield of just, it's another world. Yep, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's like you uh, get the high school education in league, you learn about the laning, and then when you get into that collegiate <laughs> level, you're thinking about, oh my goodness. There's or trade school, you exactly, know, or yeah. just apprenticeship, but you have to spend the extra time learning it. Um, and Do you have a degree in freeze? <laughs> Burr. Driven Peruvian grabbing that uh, Shelly to keep him warm on his way around the jungle and hopefully knock down and get some turret Or maybe he's gold. just hungry and he needs some plates. Okay, know. you know what? I, just, I was trying to go off your cold joke. I, we can transition jokes. Maybe okay. he wants cold food. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. Alright, and meanwhile, Phoenix is back, laying out some nice damage onto Brand. And we will see, uh, Groove and Peruvian gonna have plenty of time to lay down that rift here. And, man, this CS lead 93. And the general lead in the middle lane really They're letting down. him get ahead. They might not have focused as much on him in last game because the Fiora was taking over so much, but, um, Ask Me really is, 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 you know, a solid CS player and now yeah. getting the dynamics between mid lane. Absolutely, and you can see him just trying to open up the gold lead a little bit more for him here, getting Woo! that extra plate hold on, and yep. the 160 for him, the 160 for the jungle, now moving over to the dragon. Yep, you see the pings coming out, um, they're saying, you know, I'm coming, I'm not coming, where can we get vision? And, oh, Phoenix, meanwhile, killed the brand, and this will set them up well for trying to get this Drake, because they'll be able to have a numbers advantage down there. Camille wow. is pushed out. And good damage in the turret for uh, Oh Puppy. Meanwhile, Ocean Drake goes to Hilliard Cyber. It's yeah, clean. Not too many plates because she did have that teleport to get back in the lane, but you mm -hmm. can see how this dynamic has shifted. I don't know if exactly how it was happening, and that can also be careful about stepping yeah. up the minions with Sean. Oh, yeah. Them, but, yeah. Um, it really does get difficult and now that the haunting guys is completed. I was gonna say um, when that Camille's Trinity force comes in, that'll really swing the matchup quite a bit, but she's still a good bit off of that. The haunting guys on like the Halloween theme Timo in the middle of October. I you know, I'm feeling this there, uh you know, maybe that's oh, why probably. the matchup turned. But no, maybe I'm... you get a buff to that item in October. You know, I I actually have thought about things like that, like a champion that actually goes with like phases of like the moon or time or this that, but then Anyway, that's another story, right? You can call me about that later. Yeah. So, um, make sure she gets the royal. Because <laughs> I came up with the Silas all. Okay, um, heading back into bot lane. Good poke. We're landing some good poke. It's not doing too much damage, but it does. Anytime you get poke landed on you, it kind of reminds you that you're not invincible. Um, ooh, Camille laying that down. Bubble puppy looks in trouble. He's already popped potion. Flashes out. Flash in for the Camille. Oh. Is it gonna be over? Oh, Cooldowns are down, and that is what we're talking oh, about. Nice job, old puppy. You have to only look at health and man. You have to keep in mind cooldowns, and he played that out and got the flash. The flash shaded and the kill. Nicely done. Man, that was such a close one v one. And like you said, the way he danced around, the knowledge of her cooldowns allowed him to know he could walk back into mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. So and you have to stuff. kite. You have to. You have to not be afraid. Yep, you, like, you, I would be afraid I'd run away, but he didn't, and he oh, got it. We might oh, have a face check here. Hello, hello. Is that a Sejuani, I see? Well, yes, it is. Oh, and then Yasuo coming straight over, 3v3. Oh! But that's great all. Good job. Ezreal gets the kill on the brand. We're still going in. Flashes out from the red side bot lane. We still want to get in. Oh, my gosh. Asmu going in, getting the kill under turret. Still dodging. Yep, flashed out to try not get the turret damage there. Got it, but oh, sends her straight into a 
Karma White Hello. Yes, Kel, I will take the kill if I need to. That's that fine. That was played beautifully by the Cybercats. We talked about the wind wall and the power it can have into this composition, and we have to appreciate that he wind walled the Brandall. And he deserves and the that Brandall move up. would have absolutely changed that play. He deserves it. Fantastic. Or he doesn't. He's yeah, just no, he got it. Hiding okay. it out to okay. make sure he's safe, but okay. yes, fantastic play all around nice shot, from the turret die from the wind wall, all of it. Yeah, and this has been less of a bloody game overall in the beginning than last game, but it's been more thought through. Yep, more um, thought through, more controlled mm -hmm. for sure, and we do have to note that the gold lead has really expanded Ooh. after that play. You know, we yep. have the plates going down. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm like, coming to me. You, it's like, you just have to pray. You know, well, everyone's, everyone who's played League long enough <laughs> has the moments where that works out perfectly, and they it have was the right, where it does not. So, this worked out, and he was able to back. Sorry, Brand. We've been there too. Um, right, so. But yeah, the gold lead has exponentially um, changed it in yeah. Cyber Hat favor. We're looking at the Phantom Dancer already completed in that middle lane and the crit cloak. So he's at the 90% crit, I believe, right now. And that is going to make that Yasuo so hard to deal with in the future fights. Yeah, we got uh, shutdowns on both mid and bot for the blue team. 2-0-2 two, two now on the And we have level. that turret. It's going down right about now. Oh, man. And so that opens up so the map. first turret. You do not want to be that Akali right now. Oops, Sedge coming in, and Yasuo's like, nah. I'll just pees out. And he still has his wind while he dodged the either. We have a fight. Meanwhile, 3v2 bot lane and getting stuck there. And again, nice all from the edge, getting them low and giving a double to. Oh, no, just kidding. Karma's like, I want one. Come on. We did talk about We it. did talk, talk about, about that. And that's what we heard. He does like He's no longer kills. on Pike Coast. Yes, he is not. Um, But, you know, still. <laughs> held down the war break and then said, okay, I'll, I'll He's grab He's like, one you know, too. I'm going to accelerate my support mm -hmm. items just for you. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, that is true. Our support items help out our team. So, you know, it's it's for them. Um, and this game is sliding away um, from red side solidly into blue. But like we said before, any team fight can kind of help start shifting the scales back. But it'll what, what would it take? For red team to come out on top it here. would take the right team fight we need to see the brand alt land in a way that's meaningful we need to see the sedge cc land in a way that's meaningful right we've seen the way that the blue team has danced around these cooldowns and they have done it masterfully in some of these skirmishes and that's why they are taking Skirt! these skirmishes <laughs> sorry there's a little <laughs> shout out to our former players as well um past cyber cats we still love you we miss you and we're glad you keep supporting the current ones um and vision vision helps play into that Absolutely. because you could that's how you set up that and team right fight. now the map is dark we have the observer showing us that the red team had no vision on that dragon so they cannot walk up especially yep. at this deficit so as the red team what else do you need to be doing you need to be getting pockets of vision when you yep. can you need to play around any side of the map or you see fewer of the cyber cats. Yeah, and especially as these turrets keep going down, you just feel like it's closing in on you and you can't get this vision. I mean, now they're just ravaging the jungle. They're like, hmm, I'll take the red buff. Hmm, I'll take Haroldine, which is the name of the second, you know. Um, Shirley and Haroldine, you know, I think Shirley's the one that's taken over. Shelly. Shelly's Shelley. Shelley's the first, Shirley's the second, you know. I thought it was Haroldine! Riv said Haroldine at the beginning and it never caught on. I it think caught on! Right, Riv, no, I like Riv, better. I support you. I like Riv has also been good to our uh, Hilliard Cybercast as well, so shout out to Riv, the caster. Alright, and now, you know, they're breaking open this map. It's scary for the red team to try to get down this vision to then be able to set up the proper team fights. You just right. feel like you're hemorrhaging at this point. Once the middle lane tier 2 goes down, that's when it really feels like your jungle is no longer your, your own. own. But when you have this line move up, that first half of the jungle that's around those major objectives is still not your own, so it's very hard to push up. And we see the Camille just trying to dance into this fog of war because she doesn't yep. know who's on the map. And that's why this is what we were talking about, trying to get that vision, trying to know what's up, sweeping out enemy vision to, you know, cut them off from it. Um, and then let's see, and what are, what are we looking for next? What's what's blue team's move besides keeping capitalizing on their lead? Capitalizing on the lead, you know, they're going to have a relatively early soul spawning that they could play around. Um, but we might Ooh, play. Oh, Bubble oh. Puppy getting caught out there, not quite dancing around enough. Sejuani, Sejuani coming out, but now he is dancing, you know, but not stunned. He's going to go down here, but he's going to try to take Camille with him, and it doesn't work. So that that was nice. That was a nice pick. 
for them to get. Um, you know, it does not spell disaster for blue side, but that was nice. Oh, but then Warwick's like, hey, I know you're low. I'm gonna run because I'm very fast and I'm gonna eat you. And then he's gone. And then he's flashing in. Ooh, does he want that? The passive proc from Camille, but he gets it. Double kill. Now Akali's finding him. He's gonna be taken low because of the turret damage. But then actual bird, I don't know if you want this actual bird. I know you've taken some of the kills, but you are still supporting us. That was a beautiful flash. Um, you are still supporting us, Akali. His flash saved him. That was a very nice flash. Yeah, very nice flash and a very good comeback play for the Akali there. Her getting that shutdown is a big deal because she's the type of champion that she wants to be able to one shot. Let's see, Phoenix doing some good damage, but just poke it and just trying to, you know, guide his guide his little uh minion friends. Alright. Let's see, doing the alt trying to stop the uh, a back or, or kill him off? Uh, he was fishing for the brand. The brand was low health and backing there, so he was trying to get that kill before he had a chance to make it back to the fountain. And as we see these next objectives coming up, we are going to be playing around that mountain soul. That's mm -hmm. going to be the big thing. Obviously, the Baron's always on the menu after yeah, no, no. 20 minutes, but it's a much harder objective than the dragon. Yep. And that, like you were talking about with taking down that tier 2 for mid lane. Great timing on it, right? As yep. they're going to be sitting around these more important objectives, the third Drake and the Baron buff. Yeah, and we as we second tier mid going down. Head into the twenty minute mark. I mean we're almost, you know, ten thousand gold, like nine thousand gold above. Yeah, the eighty five hundred gold lead is massive. Okay, at this point. you can get, he really likes numbers folks. We'll let him do the actual actual math on that thing, babe. Um and we got some question pings wondering about who's coming, who's here, vision. Um we did get actual bird caught out again. As trying to ult him to save his support, it's a little too little too late. This was just a pure number advantage, and this is what we're talking about. Then the, the brand all I mean, that is what we were talking about. That's exactly what we were talking you about. You cannot try to take a 2v4 and then try to make it a 3v4, but it's not because people have already died. And you see their most fed member, right? That's the important thing. We saw the Yasuo on the top side of the map. The blue team was still too far up. I don't know if you and want that, Camille. I don't know if you want it. I don't think you do. I don't, I don't think you want this. Nope, you don't want it. It's not yours. Goodbye. All right, so um, again, he and he has some friends with the, the Teemo helped him out. But yeah, before, we can keep talking about that. Yeah, that was the, the give and take and the incredible pickoff, because, you know, they do get that kill back on the Camille, but that's just a kill. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to push in for the inhibitor turret. But we did get shutdowns. We did get four kills coming in yep. for the red team. And that gold league we just talked about, you know, it's now, still there a little bit from that turret. Almost. They took, but they're, they're closing in on 8k. Yeah, so. almost 8k. Yep, and, and we did get some vision back around the Drake, so now they're yep. gonna know this is happening. We'll see if they try and make a play. Yeah, actual Camille bird sweeping it out. Yeah, and um... I completely lost my train of thought. Well, we uh, we do see me. that we'll they are not, I'm not sure, but they, <laughs> they are not going to contest this. They are just backing off. Yeah, and even, that, that's the safe yeah, possibly. They, even, oh! oh! But they're catching out the Yasuo, who is 1v3-ing! Ow, that hurt my throat! But, oh, and then Phoenix coming in for the clutch, he was taken down, oh. but that did not go the way that's, you know, that was a numbers advantage that was okay. That being said, he, they I, still got I him. Would, I would honestly still take that trade for the red team, yeah. because you do see that he can trade back those couple of kills, but in that two for one, that was a thousand gold yeah. going over to the Akali. And like this I was briefly how they come before, back. Yes. she gets to the point where she can one-shot someone, all of a sudden your Ezreal's gone, and then what can you do in the fourth Oh, right? I thought of what I wanted to say. I would love to see a really well-utilized Caitlyn Trap. Um, you know, that just would be brutal. Now, that being said, you're probably not going to get that on to Yasuo, who can jump around, but I'd love to see oh, that on someone. Oh, nice, yep, yep, that was a nice flash. It was, was a nice flash, a, was a nice she flash. got out alive, but... Um, Camille, okay, I'll, nope, and open another just dancing. You know, the difficult thing about a champion like Caitlyn at this point in the game, with how the game state is, if she gets behind, she does not have as much utility, right? So the traps can do a lot of damage, their CC is not as important. So True damage, be, they do it? Yeah, I mean, no. you know, from the middle lane, that dual band member, she can just switch modes and be like, I know I've adopted you into KDA, do you want to join True Damage as well? But, <laughs> um, we, we will see this Caitlyn, you know, 
really having a hard time working our way through these champions that are up level. Now, Surge versus Teemo, what's going to happen? Uh, Teemo's going to say, I have friends, <laughs> I'm going to hit you. Yeah, and they collapse down there. Caitlyn coming also to that bot lane, but again, just trying to clean out the jungle, push in this wave so they can start working on this bottom turret. Meanwhile, Camille is low, um, but Akali is coming to help out. Akali versus Warwick is being pretty close here. Akali wants to back out, especially as the TP comes in, flashing over the wall. Not sure about that all, but that is okay. Um, we'll call it a zoning off. Meanwhile, Warwick taking down the Akali and Camille, double kill. Um, Brand all comes down, but does not have enough damage to finally pull out the BMO and not BMO, oh, just Teemo, Devil Mo. So close. That was a good. I mean, that was, that's respectable. I get it, but you do not have enough of the damage, and now your flash is gone. No, it's if he had hit that W, the burn might have done it though. It was going to be really close, and we yeah. can see even from behind how much damage that Brand all does. So, what do you think overall when you get to this position? Do you try to do those plays even more, even if you'll lose resources? Is that the only way you can come back into no, the game? what you can't let happen is them get pre objectives Because okay. at this point, if they get that Mountain Soul, you're it's... not going to make a comeback play. They're going to have those shields, they're going to have the extra armor, the extra MR. You are not going to be able to find those picks. The Akali, we talked about one-shotting. What's she going to do into a Mountain Soul? So, um, you do need to make these picks, these plays, at the right time. That's the key. At the right time, at the right place, with the right vision setup. So that's really what the red team needs to be thinking. What is the blue team doing right now, and why, and how can we play around it? And it does. It's slowing down now, trying to get this uh, wave management, get the lanes pushing as they head into that objective control. Another important aspect of that. Hey, yeah, we'll go get it. There you go. Yeah, there, uh, there's a nice keyboard over there. Yeah. Sure. Well, Caitlyn wants okay. the vision too, you know, she's saying, oh no, now I can't hit the war, and he won the vision war. I don't know if I've ever seen a vision, a uh, uh, pink ward in that brush before. Yeah, it's something that you can do just to make sure if you want to set up a trap in that mm, brush, that okay. you're not being seen. That to was really nice, you. Ez, Ez, nice job, that oh. was really, really good damage. Um, Ezreal, you have to play around his cooldowns, but he did a good job putting all that on him, just didn't have quite enough Speaking damage to get vision. it. Speaking of vision, thank you, um, Egg and Post, showing us that they don't know this is happening. I mean, they may guess it. I don't think so, because Camille's not checking, and she's, she might get collapsed on after this. But uh, that's Baron over to the blue team, and they didn't know. And now you see Camille backing off like, oh crap, there there they were. She might have to TP out here. I think the back's not going to be enough. Yeah, they're going in, especially with the Hungry Warwick. This is death. She's just going to try to get the execute. She's trying it, but he is a fast boy. So now she's, I, I don't know exactly. Oh. This is not oh, going to work out. Yep. She gets over the wall. Oh, but she's a fast girl. She's she's jumping all around with the little stringies. All right, good flash. That was actually really nice. She, if she, I actually kind of want her to make this, even though she's not on Cybercats. It's like the, but he's just fast and he's got glowing eyes. He looks evil. Oh, but the Kali's coming back. Will her teammate help her? No, she. Well, yes. She, she oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> she actually survived. Oh and my gosh, that was probably just the best Wait. thing about this. Oh. Brighton! Okay, nope, nope. nope. Okay, that would have been great though if then as all. Well. Sorry, that was you, really exciting, the guys. Benny Hill music, guys, because that was quite the chase. And oh, actual bird, you don't want that against the Akali. I need to. You, you would need to stop trying to, to attack we have to that. We really focus on that play that happened before the big chase. Oh no, more action though. Oh my gosh, and Ash Noob just going ham. That was a nice stopwatch for Zonia. I don't know which one it is at this point. Um, and now we we'll actually oh, put him down, and that's a 550 gold shut down to Sedge. Yeah. This when there's right three members. The so now they're the collapsing time. there. I, we might be okay, especially with Teemo dropping the shrooms around and there's darkness so we still have this and that's okay but we'll see if we can keep it if they're going to no. turn around or try to keep collapsing that's that's a game of interest right there yep and again i want to go back to that baron play for just a second because it was from the pressure that phoenix was exerting in that 1v2 that allowed them to safely set up that play because it drew other members yep. those two members weren't enough so they knew we can do this objective and then that chase bought enough time where if the yes. time was very slightly different on that pick on Yasuo, they could have challenged for that Drake, so... That chase game, was brilliant, though. A game of inches with yep. the team trying to delay long enough to contest that mountain. So. That was, like, the favorite thing of the whole game thus far. Um, I mean, it was really, really nice, and... Uh, yeah, then just an overstay from Astronute, but still also getting some of the kills, and then enough that, like I said, we were able to get the, the soul. Um, and this turret's gonna go down along with that. 
Even with the numbers advantage, with the Baron and the Soul, um, they it just are the doing damage. As finishing damage. off after Timo gets him chunked down. Oh, that's really morbid, the little yep. scorched body. Uh, that's, okay. Yep, the little shrooms from Little Devil Timo certainly displaying in the uh, Halloween season. No, 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 the scorched body of Brand. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was morbid. All right, um, that's mid in hip down, that's bot in hip down. This looks like this may be game in the final push. Um, we'll, we'll see if they try to keep it clean here, if they try to pad some KDAs. Uh, this is all out stand. This is the final stand from the red side. Got Ez all down, clumping in on the Camille cage, but not going to be enough. We have the kills coming down. Double kill for Ezreal, and then another one picked up by Ask Noob, um, on that Caitlyn. Meanwhile, taking down both turrets, looking to the Nexus, while Ask Noob's like, Brand, you stay where you are. That is game for Hilliard Esports. Win for Cybercats. Nicely done to both teams. Um, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, Arya, Dave, anything else you want to say before we head out? Nope. Again, great job from both teams. I think we had some excellent League of Legends on the day, some excellent plays from both sides, and we will see you next time. Yep. Thanks, guys.